Ladies and gentlemen, second fight of our pro card. Getting ready to start. This will be brought to you by White Phoenix Style. Visit whitephoenixstyle.com. Now, we just saw Dylan Ashburn win after loot, after uh, threaded wheat. Guy looks in phenomenal shape, and he's gonna need to be. Because this man, that he's gonna be fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three rounds. This fight is being brought to you by the White Phoenix Style as we prepare for the Bantamweight division. And now, introducing first, Fighting out of the next bank, blue corner, trained in MMA. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in 135 pounds, with two victories, one defeat, representing Genesis MMA, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Aaron Baker! Across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner, He's a freestyle fighter, standing five feet, five inches tall, weighing in 135 pounds. With two victories, two defeats, representing Pete Spratt, Muay Thai, and RP Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, Marquise Smith. All right, guys, remember the rules in the back, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch clubs, good luck. All right, folks, as we get ready, start this second pro fight of the evening. Vickers is gonna have a definitely height advantage here, a little bit of length, range. Be interesting to see how Vickers, his game has changed since training with the guys like uh, De La Rosa and a Justin Patterson and a Victor Reina. Here we go. Wow. Marquis missed with a jumping kick. Dylan made him pay with one of his own. Oh my God. Boy. Oh my God. Well, Marquis Smith really coming in there hard and heavy, trying to. Uh, get a hold of Ashburn. And, and this is where it's gonna be interesting how Dylan's game has improved. He's been very offensive on the cage right here, working for this takedown. Boy, he's, he looks in the, I tell you, uh, Antonio, Aaron Vickers is in the best shape I've ever seen this kid in. You know, I'll tell you, not only physically, mentally, emotionally, he is on point, no distractions. He's with Genesis MMA, and you saw Mark the Bumblebee De La Rosa That's right. in his corner. Yeah, De La Rosa. And, Just coming and, back from and, the UFC, him and his wife, yep. Montana De La Rosa, both coming out with victories the same way with rear naked choke. Yeah, both husband and wife, the first duo ever in the UFC. And we're proud to have them from the Dallas area. Right now, Marquis Smith, who's been working with Pete Spratt, spoke to him earlier about his fighter's fighting style in a smaller cage. He said, you know, working with him for about seven to eight months, the smaller cage is going to expose uh, the benefits of working with Pete Spratt. You're going to see a lot more explosiveness. You're going to see toughness. You're going to see some of the speed that he's been working on with Marquis to kind of break him some out of his old habits. Right now, Aaron Vickers controlling the fight in the cage. Yeah, and he's and he and, and like you say, he's doing he's doing very well here. Vickers is showing calmness and strength and poise and complete control. I, I know I know this isn't you know people ah this isn't exciting this is exciting. You have no idea the technical chess match that is going on to get these positions on the cage, to hold them to get strikes going. Uh, I mean this and, and the physical, what's going on here physically is just will wear you out. Well, the thing about it, too, Scott, is that you've trained fighters before. You've been there. They ask you questions, and they try to get your guidance on it. Right now in the cage, if you're in the corner for either fighter, what are you saying? Benefit, negative, pull back, get in more. What are you saying? I, 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 listen, I, I'm, I'm telling Vickers, keep doing what you're doing. You're winning the fight doing this. Marquis obviously showing he wants to throw some punches and stuff, so why not just keep him cornered here, beat up, beat up on him a little bit in the judge's eyes? This is good. He would, all right. Aaron here. Menard breaking it up. Yeah, Aaron Great Menard job. going to break it up here. Start him over. Oh, oh, that's a huge knee by Vickers. Now, now, 
It wasn't sneaky. It wasn't. It was just good head movement by Vickers, and he's going to need to. But he's going to have to get that chin down. Marquise, the smaller fighter, oh, he is just, off. Yeah. Vickers has got to get that chin down. Marquise Smith showing some wonderful punching. I, I'm Boy, telling you right wow, now, Marquise wow. Smith is strong as hell. Yeah, he, he really is. And if they, oh, that's a big knee to the solar plexus. But the that chin, hurt him. That hurt him. But the chin of Aaron Vickers is penetrable. Yeah, right and, now, and, and, and right here, you want to, you, you look for the head positioning. And again, a knee by Vickers to the forehead of Marquis Smith. You look at the chess match these guys are using with their heads. It's head checking, it's positioning, knees to the side. I mean, this is this is some solid stuff right here. Right now, Aaron Vickers continuing to work the outside thigh. Marquis Smith oh, be smart oh, to circle oh, out. Vickers being very tricky right here. If Marquise can circle out right now no, outside. No, listen, I tell you what, if Vickers can free up that elbow, if he can break the wrist lock here, he's got an elbow to free up and hit Marquis Smith with. Now, as soon as he lets go of Marquise with that elbow, Marquise is going to probably circle right out out. Well, but that's the thing. Vickers, Vickers is keeping that up there nice and tight. There. Now, there. Vickers that's, goes that's, in now, for well, a look, single leg. Yeah, now watch him. He's going to try and run the pipe here. He missed it. Now, right now, now back to gonna, the corner he's here. Gonna, yeah, he's going to defend. He's got to get low. Again, another big knee to the body. Vickers needs to use a front kick here, in my opinion. Try a little something snap out there. You want to keep Marquis away. Now, Marquis is just so dangerous on the inside. But I'll tell you right now, I don't think I've ever seen Aaron Vickers this tough. Oh, my God. Aaron Vickers is another, is, is a different animal I mean, right he now. looks like he just climbed out of the woods as a lumberjack yeah. and climbed in this cage and taking some shots yeah. and he's, just no no quit whatsoever. Yeah, and he see how he'll square up a little bit there? And I, his chin's up. Man, Marquis could tee off on that if he wanted to. I love the footwork of Marquise right now. On his toes, moving around. Oh, nice knee, another nice knee. Vickers is really getting the best of Marquis here with those knees, using his height to his vent. So, Round two. I mean, okay, okay. look at Vickers. His mouth's not open. He's not breathing hard. No. Holy smokes, man. Vickers is a different animal. And then you look at Marquise, light on his feet, ready to go. Yep. I so love the explosive. movement. I love that movement on him. Yeah, he he is he is so quick as Marquis Smith. You know, whatever he's been doing there with Pete Spratt, keep doing it because this cage is small. And he said that he likes to use the cage. He said he's glad that it's small, so it keeps him engaged in the fight and keeps the pressure on. Well, I tell you what, though, he has he has really lost the battles once they've gotten against the cage. Because, you know, Vic Vickers has shown tremendous cage control. This is a different this is a different Aaron Vickers. My God, I'd he's, say. He's not on his heels. Oh, oh, spinning back kick. He's not so much on his heels. And you see he's changing it up now. He's getting light. Yeah, now look at him. He's gonna. He's actually changing levels a little bit there. I like that. Let's see, you know, if he follows De La Rosa's, you know, uh, oh, instructions from the no, corner. I'm going to tell you right now. I've seen De La Rosa fight many a time. That guy is inhuman. De La Rosa. He is so slick. Yeah, De La Rosa is... is really a complete fighter. His wrestling, his, his overall oh. grappling, nice uppercut by Marquis Smith. And I think we heard the big boom on the microphone. Boy, I tell you what, I mean, they bounced off this side of the cage. Ooh, big, oh, big, big wow. body shot. But right here, Vickers needs to get a little busy with his hands, or again, with, with the kicks. I mean, it's got to be one or the other, but you've got to keep Marquis out there a little bit until maybe you're ready to engage. You know, when you talk about Aaron Vickers, because when Marquis comes in and brings the onslaught of punches, he's swinging for the fences, and he's tagging Aaron. But the thing is, Aaron is moving around just like De La Rosa. I've seen De La Rosa take on a, fi a, a taller, stronger fighter, yeah. and he's you swing, and he's gone. Well, look at you know that little check hook there. Marquis comes in, and that's the danger with Marquis, and that's why I'm saying Vickers needs to fight like the taller man. He needs to keep it on the outside. Well, he needs to cut him off because Marquise is all over the place, side, backward. I mean, his footwork is phenomenal, but Aaron needs to put the pressure on now. Well, the only way you put the pressure on is if you, if you get a shot out there, throw a punch, throw a kick, maybe a quick combination, and then, you know, work your game from there. But you're, you're really – now, Marquis came in that time, not a big – not a great move. And right here, Vickers doing a good job defensively. Nice takedown by Marquis. Vickers has got a double under cross for a rear naked or for a uh, guillotine choke, but he's going to let. It looks like he's going to let that go. He's kind of fishing for something. I can't see what it is. He's back. He's almost. He's back to his feet. And that's why I'm talking about that cage work. Working with a guy like Patterson, whose cage work is so phenomenal that he can get up off the cage at will. 
Now, you know, yeah, you're dealing with the long arms of Aaron Vickers. Marquise is going to try and circle out. They're both spinning. Well, and he's in he, and, and here. Vickers is. If he drops to his feet. If Aaron, gets, if Aaron but, but, sits but, on his butt, yeah, and what he's doing an arm bar. That, well, yeah, and he's trying for an America. Uh, uh, not trying for an Americana, but he's trying for a, uh, a kind of a chicken wing, and he's going to lose it. So watch, watch him try and. That's what I was going to oh, say. Watch him try and throw geez. some elbows. Go back to it. Those hurts. is eating some so serious hurt. elbows. And see, Marquis putting a lot of work in here because he's up on one leg. Oh, no defense on that right oh, arm. Oh, now Vickers can just, man, I tell you, you just keep throwing elbows till the sun comes home. He's trapped the left arm. He's trapped the right arm. I mean, you might as well go for a crucifix, lay back on your back and go for a crucifix. Well, you possibly could. I, I don't know that you want to give that kind. You're in a better position where you are right now. You're hurting Marquis with these elbows. You're winning points in the judge's eyes. That hurts, folks. Marquise needs, needs to let the leg go, get out of well, there. Well, that's what, you know, it, it's kind of like being electrocuted. Uh, you, you know, you grab a hold of something and you get, you're get shocked. You just, you can't let it go. And I'm, I'm like you. Let this go. And look, he's turning oh. it. He is going for go, a stand. Go back to your corner so that you can talk about now it. Now he's in a bad position. Oh, he's got a yeah. body lock. Yeah, he got his back. Now Marquis is actually kind of sideways and his butt's down. That bodes well for him to be able to explode and spin and turn around if he chooses to. Right now, the only benefit for Marquis right now is being in his corner with his coach talking to him to guide him through this. But you and see how his ass is off the ground? Yep. That allows him to spin. So he needs, and that's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to spin. Oh, no. Uh, he's oh, letting, he's letting no. Vickers get the rear naked here. Palm to palm, rear naked choke. Now he switched it up. Marquis Smart, he's got the chin down. But this is, if, I, if I, you're Marquis, if you've got anything in you, you need to explode, you need to spin. He's doing a good job defending here. 20 seconds left into round number two. Aaron Vickers doing a great job going back and forth, switching arms up. 10 seconds on the clock. Marquis Smith going to finish this round. Wow. Aaron Vickers, great job, Aaron. Well, two, two really so, good rounds. Yeah. Competitive yeah. rounds. I'm telling you, you know, regardless, regardless, and I say this, who loses, who wins, both fighters changing their games up. Going forward, improvements. Improvements. Well, I think I think we're seeing the, the best out of Versions. these two fighters. The best versions oh, yeah. we've seen. Both, a lot of growth. Now here on the Instagram replay, yeah, let's yeah. take a look at what, right here. Now it looked like he wanted to do a Donnie Bell. Yeah, and well, and Vickers, amazing. Yeah, he's, he's got nice, to be careful. Right, he's nice and tight, but he, he was. He was going into a, 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 a flying cru crucifix position. Now, you know, that could have been dangerous because here's the thing, you flip him, either you hang off into your life or your head hits that corner. Well, and there we are, fight fans. We're so glad that you're here and you're watching live. So the thing is, we get back, his head could have hit that rail. Yep. And that could have been it. That I mean, that could have, you know. Here we are, third and final round. What a great fight. What a great matchup. On paper, you're kind of like, ah, I don't know if they, if they mesh. In the flesh? Oh, wow. Well, I, you know, I said this, I really thought this was going to be a very competitive match. Now, that's what I like to see. You see how Vickers is like, I'm just going to start throwing some power punches here. He, and and De La Rosa, I think, told him that. He said, You're op open him up. Open him up. Use that, use that cross. Use that cross. Now, the thing is, if you're Aaron Vickers and you duck down, you have to watch out for the knees of Marquis Smith. Either duck side, left, back. Be careful ducking down. You That's, may get one of those no, right across the chin. Nice round kick by Smith. Going down towards the shorter fighter in stature, those knees are going to come straight from the floor, and they are going to knock you out on your ass. Yeah. All right, now Aaron needs to hit the gas pedal. Well, really, maybe not, because right now in points. I, right, I, I wouldn't want to call this fight. Yeah. Oh, first goes, time. Goes for a double. Now, look. Oh, a, the first a, shoot in of the fight wow. by Aaron Vickers. Wow. And puts he's, him. And he's got a nasty choke set on Vickers. Vickers is fighting for his life right now. He's able to block that hand. You have to do that right there because this is a sick choke here. That is a that is a that is a full cross under guillotine that he's holding on to. There we go. Aaron trying to take some of the pressure away by putting Marquise in the cage. Well, hey, I, let me tell you. 
That it's is, on. That is a sick choke. And you look, he is fighting for dear life. Oh, he, he got, out, got out, of out of it. Hey, boy, he got out of it. Marquis Smith is going to make you pay for it. Aaron Vickers taking shots by Marquis Smith. Wow. Team off. The crowd is on their feet. Aaron Vickers swaying back and forth. How Vick. tough is Vickers? Aaron Vickers is still on his feet. Marquis throwing everything in the kitchen sink. Tough as nails. Aaron Vickers is surviving. How tough is this kid? Aaron just trying to stop the onslaught. How tough is this kid? How much gas does Marquis Smith have? Aaron Vickers puts a stop to wow. it. Wow. 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 That was awesome. <laughs> Aaron Vickers, Stonehead. Stonehead. I mean, like an anvil, man. And right now, he's going to make Marquise pay for and that. And did Marquise Smith <laughs> burn his arms out and everything else as Aaron Vickers inhuman? And we still have two minutes and 30 inhuman seconds. Inhuman in his ability to handle the punishment that he just took. Folks, I hope that you did not step away from My God, whatever how, device how you're using you? to watch how this. How can you? I tell you what, Aaron Vickers, a man with possessed. a anvil for a head. A man, man possessed, two men possessed. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Marquis Smith did every, oh, oh, oh I thought he was going to go for an arm triangle there. His arms yeah, Marquis, have to be tired. Yeah, our, our Marquis Smith is, is, he tried to hold that choke. That's going to make it, you know, I'll tell you, that is going to highlight I, I mean, look. You're, oh, you're, Marquise needs to get out of there. Your face says a lot. Vickers has him, has him right where he wants him. A face says a lot. And right now, Marquise Smith's face says, man, I beat. Yeah. Look at Aaron Vickers tying up the hand. He really, if, if Vickers has got some. Uh, if he if he sucks that arm down, well, he already did now. Now there's only doing, one defense. I mean, listen, I mean, if you've got, if you've got the power and the gas, Instead of throwing those kind of short, you need to rear back there. Now try to get the referee to stop it. Again, I like this. He's not going to let Marquis flip. One minute, 20 seconds. I'm going to tell you right now, it's already been a one solid minute of Marquis Marque Smith eating punches as opposed to 30 seconds of Aaron Vickers eating punches on his feet, getting knocked yeah, all and, around and, the cage. Let, let me tell you something, my friend. Those punches, there's the body triangle. There's the body triangle. Let me tell you, those punches that Marquis Smith threw, though, well, bad intentions. Well, the thing is this, Marquis Smith gave Aaron Vickers a tour of the cage. Here's the right <laughs> corner, here's the left corner, here's uh, the other corner, and here's the south corner. Uh, that's a clever statement, my you friend. Know. But you're absolutely right. He definitely he definitely did a, <laughs> a tour of the cage. Here's the, here's the third bedroom, here's the fourth. <laughs> that's right. Right now, 30 seconds, all jokes aside, both Warriors I mean, finishing I, this fight. I don't want to be the judges. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to be the judges. No. And reading this, if it goes that far, 20 seconds on the Swole Clock time clock. This is only our second fight on the pro card. My tonight. God. And what Six a, more to go. Brother, what a fight. How do you follow this up? Brother, what a fight. There's the 10 second count. Look at these guys. I mean, neither one is quitting, beating the crap out of each other on the ground. What warriors, folks. Woo, what a fight. We go to the judges' scorecard, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. I don't want to call this. Antonio, let's. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score the bout 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Aaron Hooker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, second fight of the night. Look, I, I don't know what to say. Antonio and I, they're calling the fight. Holy shit, what a fight. Dude, 
Uh, you have an anvil for a flicking head. And I want to say this. You came in tonight looking better physically than I've ever seen you, but what you did out there, you are a different animal completely. And I mean, you've got these animals, you know, I, everybody knows you guys, so I'm not gonna say it. Talk me through that, the third round, specifically the third. He was throwing a slobber knocker of punches. You came back. Talk me through that real quick. Man, I, I knew I was losing the striking, but I'm tough, man, so I knew I could withstand it until I could get a takedown. I believe in my jiu-jitsu, man. Like, I trained Mark Della Rosa, Eric Lincoln. I've got great jiu-jitsu guys, man, so I knew if I got him to the ground that third round, I was gonna win. Well, I know you're tired. You just put on what I, I gotta tell you is one of the best fights I have seen in, in XKO in many, many years, many, many years. Real proud of you. You look phenomenal. Anybody you want to thank, any sponsors or anything, this is your time. I want to thank all my sponsors. Uh, my job, Tough Shed, led me off. Man, I want to thank Dark Diamond, they're my main sponsor. They're all some CBD oils. I just want to say, man, martial arts saved my life. I used to be on drugs and doing this. Martial arts gave me a direction and a purpose. I've been doing this for five years now. And I'd be dead or in prison if it wasn't for this shit, man. So. Just getting into this, if you're struggling with something, jiu-jitsu will save your life. Boxing will save your life, man, I promise. So. Listen, folks, couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't be happy for him. Aaron Vickers, out of doubt, one of the best fights we've seen in some time. Aaron, congratulations.